hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to create a sequence in Odoo and generate a sequential value for a record in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so what we will be seeing is that we will be creating a sequence so the use of the sequence is so if I go to the sales order and here you can see a sequential number has been assigned for each records so here you can see you have SO 0029 28 27 and if I create a new record so I'll choose I'm just creating a quotation I'll choose a customer and I'll add one product and save we have one error I think confirmed user id so i think uh, i have uninstalled the module yesterday so let me upgrade odo inheritance module again apps menu and let me upgrade oim odo inheritance so this has to be upgraded in which we have added a new field to the sales module so if i go back to the sales and i'll try to create a new quotation so i'll create a customer i'll choose odo mates and I'll select a product and if I click on save you can see a value has been generated is of 0032 and if I duplicate this record it's SO 33 and if I again duplicate it's 34 so here you can see a sequential value has been getting generated for sale order so this is done using sequence in Odoo so if I go to the settings then to the technical and if you scroll down you can see a menu named sequence and identifiers so here you have sequence and identifiers and if i open the sequence and just search for sale.order or you can just search for sale you can see a sequence record and here you can see the next number is 35 so here you can see the model is ir.sequence so this sequence is responsible to generate the sequence for sale order so if i duplicate this tab and what i'll do i'll create a sequence again sorry i'll create a quotation so here you can see currently the next number is 35 i'll just refresh and ensure 35 and let me create one quotation i'll choose odo makes i'll choose one product save you can see 35 has been assigned to this record so instantly this value will be getting updated here so if i refresh the next number will be 36 you can see 36 so what we will be doing in this video is that we will be creating such a sequence in odoo and we will be generating such a sequential value for the patient records so if i go to the hospital module here we have the patients so in every hospital we will have a unique id unique identifier for every patients like hp001 hp002 and mostly they will be using that id for identifying the patients so what we will be doing is that we will have a reference field over here where we are right now entering the values manually so instead of entering manually we will be keeping that field read only and we will be generating the value using sequence so first of all what we need we need to create a sequence record so first of all we have to create a sequence record inside sequence table ir.sequence so let's see how we can create a record inside this table from code so i'll go to the pie charm here we have the om hospital module and the sequence will be added as a data file like it will be placed inside data folder so i'll copy this file and i'll paste and i'll name it as sequence data or sequence.xml sequence data.xml i'll give like that and i'll remove the codes over here i'll just keep empty and only we have Odoo tag so we will be defining the sequence inside this file and I'll copy this file name and I will import it inside the manifest file so here I'll give data sequence data dot xml so I have imported that file inside the manifest file 
and here we have an empty structure now we have to define the sequence so i'll go to the uru source code and i'll take a sample so using find in path i will search for ir dot sequence where i will search i'll search inside the xml so instead of python i'll change to xml and here you can see we have got a lot of samples so i'll take the exact sample from the sales module so here you can see sequence for sale order so simply i'll copy this Control c and i'll put it inside our empty file i'll paste it here and Control a Control alt l in order to align the syntax so we have successfully copied that now what we have to do we have to change its id so i'll put the name as sequence hospital patient seek hospital patient because we are going to generate sequence for patient model that is we are using this record for generating sequence for patient so i have given sequence hospital dot patient model should be ir dot sequence because we have to create a record inside this model ir dot sequence so i will not change that and i'll name it as hospital patient hospital patient hospital patient then you have to give the code so everything that is everything lies inside this code so i'll give the code as hospital dot patient so the important thing inside the sequence is its code so i'll give the code as hospital dot patient you can give anything don't need to any constraint like you have to give model name itself anything you can give but make sure that it stands with the subject it we should identify what why it is for and prefix so prefix is something like what i can say whenever we generate this sequence you can see some s is coming similarly suppose for patients if we need some prefix like hp we can give it has hp the prefix so the sequence will be coming like hp 001 then padding so padding indicate total length how much total length should be there in the generated sequence like hp 001 so the total padding will be 5 hp that is two digits then 001 so you can set the padding so i'll keep the padding as 5 itself you can change for 6 or anything and i'll set company id false now what we will be doing we will be just restart the service and we will be upgrading om hospital module so i'll go to the ui and from the apps menu i'll upgrade om hospital module so you can see the module is getting upgraded and what i will do here we have already opened the sequence so i'll simply search for hospital and if i click on enter you can see the sequence record has been generated successfully hospital.patient code hospital.patient which we have given over here and name hospital.patient the name we have given over here prefix hp prefix hp sequence size that is padding 5 next number is coming as 1 so yet we haven't used this sequence so it is coming as 1 step is 1 step means how much we have to increment like 1 2 3 or we have to go 2 4 6 like if we need to go like 2 4 6 we have to give step 2 so right now i'll use step as 1 so we have successfully created the sequence now what we have to do we have to generate or we have to use this sequence and assign the value to the creating patient for that what we have to do we have to do some codes inside the create method of that model so i'll keep this screen over here and from this screen if i creating a new patient i'll choose some dates what we have to do on clicking the save we need to generate the sequence for this record so we have to override the create method and we have to get the sequence next value from this sequence so let's see how we can do that so if i go to the code so we have to generate the code for patient model so if i go to the models folder here we have patient.py file and here you can see we already have learned how to inherit the create method in the previous video so this is the inheritance of create method of hospital.patient so what i will do 
so we have to generate the value to reference field so instead of putting om test as a static value i need to generate sequence here generate sequence here I need to generate sequence here so let's see how we can do that so i'll put rough and let me check one code find in path next by code so there is one function next by code inside odoo so here you can see next by code so let me copy this syntax Control c and i'll put it here env so what i have done is i have just copied a code sample from an existing module so self.env ir.sequence so this is the syntax so here i am initializing a model self.env so let me print this print self.env i'll just put like this and let me comment this code and if i restart so let me show you what is self.env ir.sequence is this model ir.sequence so i'm creating an environment of this model so i have already printed so let's see what we get so i'll go to the patient's form and if i click on save and if i come to the pie charm and if you check the log here you can see you are getting an empty object of ir.sequence that is you are getting a record set what we can say a record set of ir dot sequence and inside this ir dot sequence we have a function next by code so if you search for diff next by code you can see next by code is a function defined inside ir dot sequence model so here you can see ir dot sequence model there is a function named next by code next by code so if i pass the code to this variable so what i'll do is that let me show you so you understood self.env ir.sequence then what we are doing next by code we are passing the code of the sequence so if i remove this and next by code we, here we have to pass which sequence code the sequence code that we have given here so our code is hospital dot patient so i'm saying i need to get the next value from the sequence having the code as hospital dot patient so i'm saying to the system i need to get the next value from the system using the code next by code and i am assigning it to vals dot rough so let me restart and let me create a new patient and let's see whether the sequential value is getting generated or not so i'll go to the ui again and if i refresh you can see the next number is five so what i'll do i'll create i'll just delete some dumb delete all data i'll delete odo test to test grave test let me remove all those data odo erp odo test first let me remove all those things delete and what i'll do i'll delete this pineapple also and i'll create a new patient named grapes and i'll give date of birth let me choose 2010 march 1 so we have entered a couple of details and i'll select gender as male and i'll keep the reference field empty and if it can save you can see the reference has been generated as hp 001 which is coming from this sequence and if you refresh you can see the next number is updated to 2 and if you create an another patient odo mates again i'll create a same patient odo mates and if you click on save you can see hp 002 here you can see hp 001 hp 002 and what i can say i'll create one more orange and if you click on save it will be hp 003 so this is how we can generate sequence in odoo 
so you have to add a sequence record that is inside the data file you have to load a sequence in the database and you have to use this code itself so here you can see inside the create method i have used next by code of hospital dot patient so just make sure that if you are not getting value just go to the sequence search your sequence and make sure that the code is coming or code has been set correctly here so what if i change this code i'll put the code i have just changed the code from here and if i create a record i'll create a task and if i click on save you can see the reference is not getting created because there is no right now there is no sequence in the database having the code hospital dot patient here the code is hp patient 333 so if i remove this 333 and if i create a new one and if i click on save you can see right now it's getting created so this is how you can generate sequence and sequential value for the record in Udo. so i hope you understood this video if you like the video please do click the like button and please do support us by having a like comment and share so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you